It's at this point Rambu broke through the rock above the cave, scattering grey sunlight into the room. Neither Quackity nor Wilbur saw him collapse into the room and walk up to an increasingly frightened Tubbo. Rambu placed a single foot onto the pressure plate, put a hand on Tubbo's shoulder and said, Tubbo, you need to move, I have a plan. Without hesitation, Tubbo scrambled towards the ladder connecting to the cavern to the viewing platform and he climbed it. He turned back to look at Rambu, who smiled at him with the kind eyes he remembered, and Tubbo smiled back. Once Tubbo had ascended the ladder to safety and curled up in the corner, Rambu began to shout, Wilbur, Quackity! The two immediately stopped fighting and looked down at the new voice. Rambu stood firmly on the pressure plate. Rambu? Quackity said, a cold shot dragging down his spine. W -w -where Where's? He looked at his left and saw Tubbo curled up in the corner with his eyes firmly shut. It's okay, guys, Rambu began. Wilbur immediately began rushing to enter the main cave before Rambu raised a hand. Stop, please, he shouted. Don't come closer. Stay in the viewing platform. Rambu, I'll, I'll, I'll go find something heavy. Just stay there, Wilbur began, but was interrupted by Rambu shaking his head. I have an idea, he began, his words echoing around the cave. I know what to do. I know how to defuse the bomb and make you realize how frivolous this whole thing is. He smiled. But tell me, Wilbur, Quackity, the burgers were good, right? Yes! Wilbur answered, instantly reacting. They're the best, Rambu, and, and they'll continue to be the best. Let me get you out. No, Wilbur, I just, I just wanted to know. But it was never about the burgers, was it? Rambu said. Rambu smiled. Rambu jumped. Searing flames and a violent burst of air was all that was left. For a change, the world really did end. Wilbur felt alive.